All right. Howdy ho guys, and welcome to another Boji Engine Plays playthrough. This time we are playing Sonic R, which is one of my um, favorite games from childhood. You know, I, I, I used to love Sonic in general, you know, as a kid I was a massive, massive Sonic fan. And the, the Saturn, the Sega Saturn era and, you know, the whole Sega Dreamcast era as well was really the golden age for gaming for me. Um, and this game was among one of the games that I, I really liked. Uh, as a kid, um, but uh, this game, if you know anything about this game, um, it's not got the best kind of reputation, um, it's, it's, it's a very polarizing game, um, you have people who love it and you have people who f absolutely fucking hate it, right, and there are, you know, if you watch any like, of any reviews of this game, you know, on, on YouTube, I'm not going to name any names, but uh, if you watch any reviews on YouTube, then you probably know what this game is bad for. Um, the the general opinion of this game is that it's bad, you know, but like, still there are some people like myself who like this game. And like it for, well, well I'll explain as, as we go along, but um, this playthrough is going to be my attempt at 100% completion playthrough, which isn't honestly that daunting because this game is, um, it's not, it's not a long game, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. It's very, very short in fact. Um, I remember when I used to play this game, uh, there was a point where it got really, really good and I just knew everything about this game. Like, you know, I knew all of the tracks at like, the back of my hand and it would, it would like take me like something less than an hour to complete. Which sounds about right because um, there are actually speedruns of this game done like, you know, in 15 minutes. 100% playthroughs of this game. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to be attempting that, um, which uh, is going to involve, um, as you saw there, there are five tracks in this game, and that's it. Um, and each track, except for the last one, um, has a hidden character associated with it and in order to unlock that hidden character uh, you have to collect all of the collectibles in the level essentially but yeah I'll, I'll let I'll let the game speak for itself because and I'll comment on kind of my experiences replaying this game you know um, I haven't played this game uh, for you know God knows God knows how long years you know um, I think the last time I played this game was when I played the, the Sonic Gems collection, which is the GameCube port of it. And you might be noticing that I'm playing the Sega Saturn version. I'm actually emulating the game. Um, and the reason for that is because, well, the I don't like the PC port to be honest with you. Um, I think the PC port is very, very, very glitchy and like, you know, obviously it updates on the, um, on the uh, you know the graphics and like adds features and everything like that, but like honestly, um, I'll go through this door. Yes, I can. Honestly, like I feel that you know the Sega Saturn version is the most faithful. You know, it's the most consistent. You know, um, it's the least glitchy, and so like that's the reason why I'm playing this version of the game. Um, but oh, so fall off there. So like you, you'll notice that I'm collecting um, these tokens, um, challenge tokens. Which if you get five in the level that you're on, uh, and you place, I think it's within the first three positions. Although like I could be wrong. You know, I always aim for first anyway. But if you place, you know, highly, then you'll get to. Uh, square off with um, the track's hidden uh, character, which you'll, you'll see very shortly. Um, whoops. So let us actually try and get some Chaos Emeralds here. I might actually be able to get the both of the Chaos Emeralds on the stage if, if, I, if I don't fuck up, basically. Um, so 
So yeah, you might notice also that like I didn't go to the first level. I went to the second level first. And the reason for that is because um, it's the easiest route uh, of the game in terms of 100% completion. Because if you if you race the uh, the um, Let's see here. Can we can we place first? Yes. Okay, we've done it. Sweet. And this is the infamous Tails doll, which if you've uh, if you're familiar at all with like any of the you know the creepy pasties of him and whatnot, then you'll know about him. The curse of the Tails doll. <laughs> Watch your back. Tails doll is watching you. Um, yeah, and and so like the reason I picked the stage first is because. Uh, you, you have to you have to face off against Metal Sonic in um, in Resort Island, the first level, and he's very very difficult to race against un un until you've unlocked um, some of the hidden characters. And so, like this is my preferred order of doing things. Um, but either way, I'm doing uh, okay here. I'm doing pretty well. Everything's going pretty swimmingly. Um, yeah, it feels good to be playing this game. You know, again, like I play games that I think are cool, and uh, the thing, the thing is, uh, this the reason why this game is so polarizing is because, um, well, it made me think about this actually. You know, it made me think about you know why do some people really really hate this game, whereas I really actually quite like it, and the reason is because. Gamers generally tend to kind of come in two categories, like broad ca ca uh, categories. You have the type of gamer who's like uh, gameplay centric, and they they tend to play games because of gameplay reasons, right? Because the, like the gameplay has to be solid, and everything has to be solid, right? And that kind of gamer is going to really really hate this game, right? And then there are the other type of gamers who are uh, also interested in the, or rather more interested in the kind of the mood of a game, the atmosphere of the game, and this game is a game that is heavy on the atmosphere and heavy on the, you know, the mood, but like, but like, rather lacking, you know, when it comes to the gameplay. Um, I do apologize as well, like, I haven't mentioned the music, which is fucking fantastic. Uh, and unfortunately, I won't be coming back to this level, so like, that was the only uh, time we'll be hearing, um, Living in the city, which is the tune here. Also, I hope you don't mind if I sometimes sing along to the the, the songs because the songs are just so goddamn catchy. Um, so actually, we're going to stick with Knuckles here, and we're going to do the third level, Regal Ruin. Um, and I'm going to try my best to remember all of the uh, lo the locations. I'm going to take no chances as well, so I'm going to. Go with like close, you know, the closest first. Um, because actually, uh, whilst I was thinking about doing this game, um, I watched a speed run of this uh, this game, and so like I kind of like made notes mentally a bit of like the the kind of optimal routes. Of course, that was like uh, a couple of days ago, so I've kind of forgotten them now. Um, but nevertheless, like I, I made sure that like I at least know where like all the challenge tokens are, where all the chaos emeralds are. Um, yeah, but anyway, we don't have quite enough to. Um, yeah, I missed this actually, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get the chaos emeralds honestly. So I'm going to play it safe and not get the Chaos Emeralds, which is going to make it a bit longer, but that's fine. Um, right, so... Oops. Ah, no! <laughs> yeah, so... The way that this, con this game controls is quite odd, you know, to say the least. Um, you accelerate by pressing up, or... Um, this isn't the last lap, so I might actually be able to do it. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll see if I can get. Yeah, we're quite enough with both of them now, anyway. Oh, shit. Fucking Eggman got me with his 
thing. So I'm not sure if I'll risk it actually. I think I'll actually just go for a shortcut here. Yeah, I remember all the shortcuts though. I remember all of the shortest routes because I just played this game so much as a kid. Um, So take me back in time. Oh, I love this. I love the music in this game. That's one of the major draws of this game. And like, if you go to any Sonic R video on uh, YouTube, like, it, it's always like sucky game, but sick music, right? Um, and you've really got to give credit to uh, Richard Richard Jack or Richard Jacks, you know, however you want to, however way you want to pronounce it. Um, oops, no. Uh, um, yeah, who is the composer of this game? Um, you know, he did a stellar job. You know, um, I don't even care that people say that like this isn't this the soundtrack doesn't really suit like this kind of game. Like, I disagree. Like, I think it's like it completely fits the mood. You know, it picks you up. It's the kind of music that you would actually listen to like without like playing the game. You know, like. But then again, you know my you know. These kinds of games really shaped like my musical tastes, you know, like I'm really into like, you know, upbeat, like um, music that like that makes you feel good and like um, Yeah. So like this game this this game's music is right up my alley my um, alley. credit also needs to go to um, TJ Davis, who's the singer on this on this entire uh, soundtrack. And like she does a fantastic job. Her voice is amazing. I used to think she was black, <laughs> but she's actually white. And it's like, fun fact actually, both Richard Jacks and um, TJ Davis are both British, which is fucking awesome. You know, being like a British person myself, fucking awesome. Um, so cool, we have decimated Egg Robo. And we will be moving on to. Actually, I, f I forget. Yeah, I actually, I actually forgot the order of, of the, uh, the characters here. I still want to stick with Knuckles because I actually thought that I was getting another character there. But I'm actually going to go with Reactive Factory now. I'm going to try and remember all of the locations. Whew. I, th I hope, I hope I remember all of them, all the locations of the challenge token. Um, but. Uh, I think one of them. I think no, that, that's that's a chaos emerald. One of them's here. Um. Right. Let's see. So this is a neat little shortcut where you don't have to go through the loop the loop. Um. I can't remember if there was one down there. I think there might have been. Uh, but either way, we're gonna go. Here and get like the, the hard one first. You know, this is gonna be a bit. This is gonna be a challenge because like the thing is like you need to you need to make sure that you get all of them. Oh shit! Not enough rings. Um, okay, this is gonna be a close one. Hopefully, I don't end up like retrying this level. Um, okay, cool. Let's go. Yeah, was, was there one here? I really can't remember. Oh yeah, there was. God damn it. Sneaky. Um, okay. There's two more and I think I know where they are. There's one at the end of the level and there's one... They're both at the end of the level but they're different paths, so... Um, let's see. Uh, I'll go here first. Oops. God damn it. Yeah, there's one here. Okay, I'm really gonna... Okay, I think I can get both of them here. Sweet. And then I'll just make sure I spend the rest of the level catching back up. God damn it! Eggman, get out of my way. Stop floating around. Yeah, so there are actually like some. There's an interesting difference between the uh, Saturn version 
and the the PC version, or you know, any or the later versions of Sonic Car. Um, aside from obviously the graphics, and oh, here we have Metal Knuckles, probably like the coolest character I think in this game. It's a shame like he doesn't ever come back in any other Sonic like games. But definitely one of the cooler characters of this game. But yeah, um, aside from you know, obviously like in the uh, PC version and subsequent versions, they like improve the graphics. You know, they, they probably tweaked the game, you know, for better or for worse in certain cases, you know, honestly. Because, like, um, start here. <laughs> yeah, but, like, there's an interesting difference, which is that, like, there's actually a bit of input delay uh, for the Saturn version. Which, like, you might think is a bad thing, but actually it's 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 not a bad thing at all. Um, because, like, I actually played the PC version, like, recently, and it was just so difficult to control because it was so, like, unwieldy. But because there's a bit of input delay on, um, on the Saturn version, it actually makes it a bit easier to control, which is interesting. Um, oh, so he, went, he went that way for some reason. Um, Yeah, so I think like no, he's like way behind me. I'm like killing this. We got to make it real. <laughs> we got to make it real. Ah, missed it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've whitewashed him. Okay, so we have Metal Knuckles now. As you can see, like I said, this game is really, really short. Like, I've only got one more character, which is Metal Sonic, to get from um, uh, Resort Island, and then that's it. And then I've got to get the Chaos Emeralds, but that's pretty much it. So from now on, we'll be using Metal Knuckles instead. And hopefully we'll be able to get, like... Um, so there are seven Chaos Emeralds, and there are four stages in which they appear. So there are actually, there's actually one, only one Chaos Emerald. Um, in this, um, in the stage, and but there were two in all of the other ones. Um, but yeah. So anyway, Metal Knuckles is essentially Knuckles, but like with with higher top speed uh, and just cool looking in general. <laughs> but um, so. Thing here. The thing about the metal characters as well is that they can float on water. Unlike uh, the characters, the normal characters. Uh, the exceptions are, of course, Amy and Eggman, but like, Amy and Eggman are not worth talking about because they suck ass. Um, yeah. okay, there's two more coins. Where are they? There's one I've, I just missed because I'm an idiot. Um, there's one. Oh yeah, I think it's inside the door, that's fine. Okay. We're still doing fine. Um. Yeah, we're gonna play it safe, I think. Because we're not gonna be getting 50 coins after this. And it's already the last lap. Yeah, obviously you skip this this loop every time because it's a waste of time. Um, okay, so Metal Knuckle versus Metal Sonic. Prepare to challenge. Okay, so we've got a fighting chance this time. You can technically beat Metal Sonic, you know, uh, with with like with the regular characters, but it's really difficult, you know, unless you Sonic. But like the thing with, with Sonic, and the reason why I chose Knuckles um, was because uh, Sonic is really difficult to control. Um, he's uh, his handling isn't very good, and um, you know he's fast, but his handling is, is not very good. That's why I choose Knuckles because um, his uh, handling is like pretty good, you know, and he's he's not as slow as Tails. 
So he's like an all-round character, basically. I'll go through this forest again. Well, he's already like caught up to me, so... Let's not fuck around here. Let's not suck. Let's not suck. If I lose to him, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really embarrassing. <sighs> okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we've done it. We've just about done it. We just about did it, like he was right behind us. Cool. So now we're gonna be going around getting the Chaos Emeralds. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like this game, you know, even as I'm playing it again now, I realize actually how, how good the Saturn version is compared to the other two versions. Um, we all... I'll do, I'll do one level with, with Tails Dart, but like I'll, um, okay, I'll go through them in order now. Yeah, one thing also that is missing from the other two games is this cool loading logo thing. Which, like, you know, is awesome. Why would you remove that? I guess it's because, like, the PC version and these subsequent versions, like, just load so quickly that you don't need, like, a loading screen. Um, okay, so we need 50 rings. And that's all we need. Focus on getting those 50 rings, not like me just fucking missing all of them. <laughs> um, let's at least get this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Apologies, man, I suck. Okay. As long as I get them with before the third round. We'll even do the loop de loop because you get some rings from there. Um. God damn it. Okay, so. And we have to place first for the, the Chaos Emeralds. It's not like the, the Challenge Emeralds, where like you, you can like do whatever you want. Well, and by do whatever you want, I mean like you can you can finish. Um, I think in the top three positions, I think. But in this, but in this, you have to place first. Otherwise, you won't get the chaos emeralds. It'll troll you, and like if it happens, I'll show you. But like it will, it will majorly troll you, rub it in your face. <laughs> um, okay, we just have to not suck here. Ugh. Cool, we did it. Sweet. Um, yeah, Metal Knuckles is so cool. He's like doing flips and shit. <laughs> Alright. No troll for us. Okay, so that's one down, six to go. But yeah, um, I don't know, like... Another game that is similar to this, and the reason I say that, well, you know, it makes sense because the game I'm about to mention is also made by Traveller's Tales, also developed by Traveller's Tales. Um, it's Sonic 3D, or rather, the the re-release of 3D, the 3D, the remake of 3D on the Saturn. Um, you know, also com composed by Richard Jacks. Which is why, like, you know, it has his music, so, like, it's really upbeat and everything. But yeah, you know, like, all of these early, like, Saturn games. And, like, yeah, it's not just... Um... It's not just, um... It's not just, um... Sonic games. Um... Yeah, it's not just Sonic games, it's like, there was an era when Sega was really cheesy, and I loved it, like... But yeah, but it's cool, you know? Um, this game is pretty cool. Wait, did I, did I, do, did I get the Chaos Emeralds? I can't remember. Sorry, I, like, I think I might have got them already, I can't remember. Well, no, because mm, I'll do it again anyway, just for the song. I can't remember honestly. Um, my singing might be desynced with the video as well. Um, yeah, I'm getting the hang of the, the handling. Yeah, 
But yeah, the Saturn version, like, controls so much better than the PC version. The PC version controls like ass. Um, and like, yeah, like, you know, the graphics... Let's go for this one. The graphics... Obviously aren't as great, you know? It's like, this is like... Is it even 32-bit? I think it is, but like... You know, like, but like, the whole experience is a lot more consistent. You know, it's not, it's like not as glitchy, and like the high res things, the high res um, graphics don't like clash so much with the rest of the game. I don't know, because like the thing, the thing about old games is that if you, re if you remaster them, then um, they generally look really bad. Because like, and it really kind of emphasizes how, how aged they are, not only in terms of the graphics, but like the way that the graphics match up to like the motion capture like you know the move the animations the collision detection you know so like you know yes it'd be nice to um to play this game with like higher you know resolution graphics but like honestly you 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 lose too much of it in the process um and like i guess this is probably what contributes to like the, the kind of shitty opinion that Sonic R has in general is because like most people know it from like the shitty ports that, that you know came out from there. And like I say the shitty ports, you know, they could have been worse. But you know, I, I'm guessing that, you know, seeing as the Saturn, you know, I was the only person I knew, you know, honestly, that had a Saturn. Um, uh, can I get 20 rings? Please give me 20 rings. Fuck it. Um, cool. Um, yeah, um, not many people own the Saturn, so like, people probably never play the Saturn version. <coughs> you know, and only know this game from like, the, the kind of questionable PC port and subsequent versions. You know, just like small things, like the way that the music, like, in the PC version, and you know, obviously the, um, Oh shit, shouldn't have done that. I need 50 rings. Um, I need to be careful here. Um, yeah, like... Wait, hold on. I'm just trying to focus, so... Uh, To Hopefully I get 50 rings here. Please give me 50 rings. Don't miss that. Don't miss that. Get that. Yes, okay. We're cool. We just need to not fuck up here. I think we've already fucked up to be fair. I might have to restart this. Um, <laughs> Apologies for that. That was not a very good uh, race on my part. But yeah, um, like in the PC version, like the music like suddenly cuts out in, in, in places. Like when the, when the when the race ends, I think. And at other times, um, the music just randomly cuts out. Um, and like you can skip like some of the screens, and it just looks very abrupt and and like you know not very good, right? Um, Yeah, and I also, I, you know, I didn't like the screen transition. Sonic, you bastard! <laughs> See my rings, you dickhead. Um, sorry. <laughs> this is bad. Very, very bad. Um, right. Yeah, you know, just just, just like little things. Um, I was, I'm I'm like kind of like struggling to think of them right now because I'm able to focus and concentrate. But um, let's see if I can think of any. Uh, let me at least get 20 rings here, please. Sweet. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Even like. The, the kind of the blend the balance between like sound and sound effects is, is not very good on the um, on the PC port 
Um, I need hundred mornings. Sweet. Okay. Ugh. Okay, as long as I get this emerald. Ugh, come on. Sweet, okay, now I can floor it. Now I can fucking floor it. Ugh, come on. Is that a metal sonic? I saw him somewhere. Did I take the shortcut? I can't remember. He is! Come back here. You will not win. I just need to make sure. Please give me some rings. <laughs> uh. Whew, just about. Yeah, it's like on the PC version, I think you can skip that screen and it uh, like and it cuts the music and it just feels very like it feels very off. Whereas in this, like everything, you know, um, is is fine. Either way, we're on to our penultimate stage, and we we don't actually ever unlock Eggman until we finish the game. So sucks to be him, I guess. Um, let us. Use Tails doll here. Show you how how freaky he is. Um, ready, ready, set, set go. go. Right. So, ah, bastards. I forgot that like Tails Doll is so slow that like slopes actually affect him. In that like Yeah. It's like he'll get dragged down slopes without you actually turning, which is a bit weird. Oh, this is gonna be difficult actually. This is gonna be really difficult. So I need a hundred rings overall. Um And everyone's caning my ass right now. Maybe it was a bad decision to get to use Tails Doll, but... Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna try to go for a faster character, I'll go for Metal uh, Knuckles again. So that was the- that was like a brief thing with like Tails Doll. Uh, with Tails Doll you can actually, um... You're actually not slowed down by water, because both Metal Sonic and well, all of the other characters can float on water. Eggman, Amy, Egg Robo, um, Metal Sonic, Metal Knuckles. Like, they all slow down in water, like, even though they can hover on water. Um, and Tailstar is the only one, I th believe, that can, like, that can ma maintain speed. Uh, upon skimming the surface of the water. Sweet. Okay, now I need to get some more rings. Ah, so hard. We have, to make you feel. <laughs> we have to make it real. Look at Reg Robo, so funny. <laughs> no, don't be a dick, please. I just need to get 50 rings by the time I get down here. Because the other one is here. Mess the door like an idiot. Ow. Alright, time to race. God damn it. Okay. 
come on, Bob, don't choke him off. Uh, uh. Yeah, the AI is a bit weird sometimes, like... Like, it's not outright stupid, but like, sometimes, like... It decides its path by random, you know, like... Sometimes it'll take a shortcut. You know, and, and like... I'd like to think that it's based on, like, how well you're doing, but like... Oh, shit. Is he out of me? Is he? Oh, God, he beat me! He beat me. Um. Okay, sorry about this. Oh man. Ready, set, go. Okay. It's funny, isn't it? Like, like when I when I was going into playing this, like I think I mentioned this already, but like I like I was like, yeah, Sonic Car, well, whatever. <laughs> like, I remember, you know, I used to play that game loads. But, um, it's actually, it's actually quite a hard game, you know, because the controls. Um, God. give it to me. I need 50 more rings now. This one's going to be a challenge, this level. Because you have to get rings. You also have to make sure you don't fall behind. Okay. I'm not doing so well here. Okay, cool. We... We're locked out here. Okay, we just have to not screw up so badly. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> okay. Metal Sonic is Kane. Wait, is that? Yeah. <sighs> can I beat him? I'd be really close. Come on, make me do, help me do this, help me do this, come on. Ah, oh, no, I will not do it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, as a side note, like, I plan on doing some more Saturn games, hopefully. Um, I think Saturn is like a, a woefully um, like underestimated console. Like there is, there are some good games on it, honestly. Um, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's so hard. It it actually pays to be more careful than like to like to rush things. <sighs> okay. Right. I'm really focusing right now. Um, thanks for the shoes, but I need rings here. Come on, give me some rings. Five, that's not too bad. I need some more rings. Not going great. Ready, set, go. go. Okay. Twenty. Sweet. It's good. That is good. Luck is on my side this round. 
As long as I don't fudge it up. Because of fucking um, Metal Sonic, honestly, he's like just too good. Alright. Come on. We need to remember nothing in this world comes for free. As you can see there, like Metal Knuckles slows down. Okay, let's do it! Can I go up there? Yes I can. Save some fucking time. Okay, Metal Sonic is pulling ahead, so... I'm going to... Head him off at the pass. Go, go, go. You really have to make no mistakes. Because Metal Sonic will have you for breakfast. Hungry as well. God damn it. <sighs> Ready, set, go. Five rings is not great. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna focus on getting a lead. These two.
Okay. Change of strategy here. Um, after many failed attempts at doing this level with Metal Knuckles, I've decided to switch back to uh, regular Knuckles. Okay, that, that's great. Give me the rings. Give me them. Because uh, when you're the robot characters, um, you have to race against the other ones, and Metal Sonic is just way too fast. Um, so, like, I had to revert back to Knuckles to make it easier. Uh, but yeah, hopefully now, like, we actually have, you know, we actually stand a chance of like finishing first whilst also collecting the Chaos Emeralds. So, um, yeah, I think I think it'll be a cinch because we like lucked out on getting the Thunder Shield here. So, like, we probably already have enough rings. We don't need to get any more. We can just like fucking floor it. Floor it! Come on, Nux! Show me what you got. Let's leave these losers in the dust. Okay. We can win this. Also, like it's way it's way easier to to uh, corner with knuckles as well to to handle the turn. Like metal knuckles is a bit too fast. So, like overall, I think in my opinion, knuckles is the best character, hands down. Like he's all around, he's fast enough, but like he's also good at handling. You know, he's not so fast that like you know it's impossible. You can, you can like you can make sharp turns, whereas like with the other, with like with metal knuckles even like you can't. Um, like if anything, oh shit! Come on. Yeah, look how much I beat Sonic by. Like, uh, should have done that in the first place. Oh well. So now we have collected all seven Chaos Emeralds, and because of that. We have a nice little surprise waiting us, uh, for us back on the character select screen. So, Grand Prix, and now we have Super Sonic. And we will be taking him to the last stage Radiant Emerald. And this is going to be a piss easy level because Supersonic is fast. He also handles really well, um, and we don't have to collect any bullshit items in this level. So like, all we have to do is win. Um, Ready, set, so let's go. go. This is essentially the Rainbow Road of um, this level, like the the Sonic R equivalent to Rainbow Road on Mario Kart. One shame, one big shame is that if you play Supersonic on this level, which is probably why I shouldn't have chosen Supersonic in the end, but like, is that you don't get to hear the song, which is, um, uh, there's, there's a different song that plays on here. I think it's called Diamond in the Sky, um, which is really, a really, really good song. I love that song. Uh, but like, instead you get Supersonic Racing if you play Supersonic on this level. So... Oh well. Um, yeah, if you, you know, again, you know, I'm guessing the kind of person who's watching this is someone who's already played this before, so hopefully you can go back to that and listen to that. But um, So we can actually go from here. Which I don't know if it's actually any quicker, because you, there's a speed point here, but like ultimately. Actually, no, it is faster. Yeah, I'm not going to sing too much because it's probably going to be out of sync um, and that's not good. Ooh, Metal Sonic is beating me here so I, I need my best make sure I don't let him beat me. Get out of the way. 
scrub. I'm a true Sonic. Okay, someone opened it. It's like a sharp, sharp turn around, correctly. I think we're doing fine. No, 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 no. They're right behind me. That's fine, because we did it! We did it. All right. So, uh, you can actually watch the replay. And I actually wanted to show that off, but instead we'll, uh, we'll proceed to the ending. So that's it. That, that is Sonic R. We've completed Sonic R and it's taken only 51 minutes, inclusive of all of the bullshit runs I did where I, like, I didn't do it. Um, but... Now we get to enjoy these credits, which are honestly fucking amazing. So yeah, um, that was Sonic R. Um, yeah, again, you know, I, I've, I've been saying, you know, why I like this game. Um, because it, it's it's got that Sega goodness to it, you know, it's it, it's feel good, you know, it's Sonic, you know, Sonic and Sonic is the rep Sonic to me as a franchise is a representation of all of the creativity and like wonder that was a, that, that was part of Sonic Team, you know, back in like the eighties, like the late eighties, I guess, to like the to to about two thousand really, you know, because. From that point on, uh, Sonic Team really started to suffer. Sega in general, you know, once the Dreamcast flopped, and like Dreamcast was great, Dreamcast was a great console, but you know, alas, it only lasted for like three years before like you know people were like nope, it's Xbox, PlayStation Two, um, you know, and it was it was the death of a giant. You know, obviously Sonic Sega's still around. You know they're not pulling a Konami just yet, but like they're not they're not who they once were. You know Sega. I was always a Sega fanboy. You know I, I loved a Nintendo. Don't get me wrong. You know I had a Super Nintendo. My first ever game, proper game, was Super Mario World, and I loved Nintendo. But like there was something about Sega during its golden period. Even though you know the cons consoles such as the Saturn and Dreamcast like were technically, you know, even though like the Dreamcast wasn't a flop, like it still, you know, it still died relatively quickly. It was, it was a game console, it was a game company with a lot of heart, you know, and that's why I love their games. Again, yes, at, even after, you know, after playing this game, after so many years, I can admit that like, you know, it's, it's, it's clunky. Um, you know, it's the, some of the controls are terrible. You know, like the controls are kind of bad, you know. And hey, you know, whatever. But nevertheless, you know, like the reason why I liked games like Sonic Car were because they were, they were full of heart, you know. You know, from a gameplay standpoint, you know, there are yeah, you know, there are much better games out there. But you know, again, I'm one of those players who, you know, I love great games, you know, I like playing games with great gameplay in them, but like, I also like these types, types of games that are sadly dying out, you know, honestly, sadly dying out, at least from like the mainstream scene of gaming, you know, from AAA game developers, like, because they're not profitable, you know, if anything, Sega was a demonstration that, you know, if you make these kinds of games, if you make art that is from your heart, right, and as cheesy as that fucking sounds, right? It might not do well financially, you know, particularly if you're like looking to like support like, you know, like a massive games company or whatever. But nevertheless, you know, th that's why I love Sega and that's why I like Sonic R. And going back to what I said, you know, just now I was saying that um, coming back and playing it, yeah, I noticed its flaws, I noticed how bad it's aged, but like playing the Sega version, the Sega Saturn version of the game, actually a lot better. And just as I say that, my camera decides to die, but that's fine. Um, another reason, fucking the PC version and subsequent versions, like the, the credits aren't timed properly. So 
they um, so they um, yeah they don't end when the song ends you know and like I can you know yeah I can understand why people hate this game but like nevertheless you know I hope that you know whoever's watching this you know can can bask in you know the the kind of uh, guilty love, I guess you could say, of this game, you know, we're, I guess we're few and far between, you know, people who like games such as this, but nevertheless, we should be proud of the fact that we like these kinds of games, and uh, yeah, I'm, I, you know, thank you for, for joining me on this journey, you know, <laughs> journey, I say journey, it's only been like, it's not even been an hour, you know, so like, my memory was correct, you know, like, this game is just so short, but um, I'm gonna see if I can find... Uh, whoops. Just just as a bit of a end thing. If I can find... Um, yeah, that's the one. I'll just play this for a bit. But yeah, um, yeah, thanks for joining us, Journey. Uh, I've still got just a bit of an update, I guess. You know, why not? Because... Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing on this channel, honestly, you know, like, obviously I'm playing games that I like and just trying my best to, like, provide interesting and insightful commentary on them. Uh, it's a bit hit and miss, I guess, you know, like, you, you can you can probably, you know, comment on that, you know, I'm just starting out and everything, but, like, um, yeah, I'm hoping to continue to do this, um, and really, I don't know, we'll see how it, you know, where it ends up, but, like, um, going forwards but oh this is the instrumental apologies for that um mm. okay it's not working well yeah kind of okay never mind yeah but <laughs> obviously the actual version has singing in it but anyway uh yep so that was sonic r i hope you enjoyed this playthrough of sonic r and um, yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing more of these kinds of games um, in the future and I will definitely be playing more of them. So cool, I hope you're having a great day and catch you next time. Peace out guys.